Hey guys, what's up? Noi here. So, just random video, you know? This is how I do things. I wake up, I'm like, I don't know, what do you want to do this morning? I'm like, hey, let's make a video, so why not? But, um, yeah, um, there's a lot of activity going on my Twitter right now because um, I recently did some artwork for the Digital Art Fair in Asia. Um, I think it opened up two days ago, I believe, and we are selling some artwork there. Some NFTs, I think they have some screens and you could use your phone and scan the QR code and it takes you to a site um, refinable yeah I think that's what it is and we're there you can purchase some of our, our artwork there and it's going really well I think so this video is just a companion piece to that but it could exist on its own really uh, it's just um, a video I wanted to make about my process on how I go about doing artwork actually that looked better I'm gonna turn off all the my monitors here if I know how uh, I don't know how wait um, yeah it's just what was I saying of the process <laughs> oh god I need my coffee the process of um, how I go about doing artwork or creating superheroes for these uh, for the clients um, so yeah that's what we're gonna be talking about um, should be a short video, shouldn't be that long, hopefully, but then you never know because I tend to ramble on and on. Uh, I get this way sometimes when I'm nervous. Every time you put a camera in front of me, I get really nervous, but I'm going to try my best. Um, yeah, so creating a superhero. We do it a bit differently here because we move so fast. I know that I used to do design work for comic books and the process there was a lot longer. Like we would have to submit rough drawings and then lines and stuff separately um, based on a schedule. Usually it takes um, a few weeks to get something done, like a cover or whatever like that. But in the crypto space, or especially with the company that I'm with right now, sometimes it's like we want it tomorrow, which is insane. And I'm used to working at that pace because I was an animator um, for television for 20 years and that was the pace that I worked at. It's like sometimes we need a we need graphics for a commercial the following day. And that is uh, that's very common. It's very natural for me to kind of migrate over to to this line of work and do this the exact same thing. Only I'm not animating anymore. I'm doing character design. So I've probably eaten up already 10 minutes <laughs> and I haven't actually even gone through any of the um, the process yeah but okay let's start right now so usually before everything we will make a you know we'll sign up with a partner and then they'll say we want a character and from this point on we send them a questionnaire saying what type of character do you want do you want male or female do you want a futuristic looking character do you want something from the past things like that any specific character traits they fill out this questionnaire and they send it to us and I think this is pretty awesome because it makes the project very collaborative and um, it, it gives them ownership of the character as well. And usually when we're finished with it, they're very happy and very proud of it, um, like we are. So they fill out this questionnaire, they give it to me, I read it and I figure, I, I, I figure out how this character is gonna look like. Um, so the way I do this is I'll create a, a mood board. Essentially, I'll go online and I'll take textures, um, sometimes artwork. I like to stay away from artwork because I don't want to be influenced to draw like that person because I have a lot of artists that I really look up to and in the past what happens is when I look at their artwork so much my artwork tends to kind of migrate and kind of transform into their stuff so now I try to stay away from that so I'll usually take um, reference from photos like uh, models um, textures articles of clothing from like uh, different parts of the world. If I was to draw samurai, I would look up ancient samurai armor, something like that. And the good thing about this is it offers a level of authenticity. So usually when, an, when, a, char when, a, when a character, usually when an artist does an, an interpretation of um, a Japanese armor, for instance, they'll usually put their own kind of spin on it. And so if you're using that as reference, then you're using somebody else's interpretation of something else. That makes sense 
So in the end, your version becomes the most inaccurate <laughs> version um, of that thing. It could look cool, um, but for me, I, I like to have some authenticity to my design as well. Um, it just makes it more uh, impactful and, and, and realistic, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word. Do I hear a ghost behind me? There's kind of noises all over the place. I think it's my son. But um, yeah, well, I'll do that. I'll compile this in Photoshop, just one page. Um, after this, I will go into rough sketches. I'll usually do three to five rough sketches of poses. At this phase, the idea board doesn't come into play at all. I just kind of push that aside. It's not important. We're just trying to nail down the gesture and the anatomy of the character. And this phase is its just a nude pose. No clothing, no nothing. So everything happens in stages. So I'll come up with three to five poses. Usually it's a boring pose because I'm character designing. I don't really want to get into an action pose. That's probably afterwards. That's what a character, that's what you, you would use a character design for is to do the action pose. So if I was to hand over a character design to a person, then they would do an, an interpretation of that character. Usually they would go with an action pose after that. But for the character design, it's usually a boring static pose because you just kind of want to design the character. But for the digital art fair stuff, I could um, I can go crazy with the pose because I didn't have a lot of time at all to get this done. Like maybe 14 days to get seven characters all drawn up, colored, and, and animated. And uh, you gotta understand, I'm a one-man show. So in comic books, you have a penciler, an inker, a colorist, all separate people, but like, um, not always. Some people do all of it. Um, that's me, I do all of it. So, um, yeah, so I, I didn't have an, a lot of time to get that done. We just went straight into like a character pose type of thing. And another compromise we, we, we made was that it wasn't gonna be a full body, it was gonna be like a three quarter body. And that helped a lot. That helped save a lot of time because legs are hard to draw. If you're an artist, you know exactly what I mean. Legs are hard to draw. Attaching the legs to the torso or the hip area is very tricky. But that's that's for another video. I'll, I'll go through all that. I have um, I have some tricks on how to do that, but that's not for this video. Um, wh where am I? The pose, the character pose, right? Um, so from the nude pose, this is where the idea board comes in. I'll then take the idea board. And we'll design the the costuming, how the hair looks, the type of weapon that's gonna that this character is gonna create. So, and there's a lot that I can talk to that I can go on, um, that I can go into about this, but I won't. It would take forever. Uh, it's essentially just telling a story with this character design. Like, there's gotta be a purpose for everything. So, if you're a character designer, I would highly suggest thinking about all these things. So, don't just draw. A, um, a character for the sake of it looking cool I mean that could be awesome but there should be some meaning behind the clothing uh, the clothing tells tells you where they're from what time period they're um, <clears throat> they're coming from uh, the weapon tells you you know what kind of warrior they are um, any unique aspects of this weapon like is it energy infused does it draw energy from the earth does it draw energy from the the, the Sun like for instance, this character could become weaker at nighttime because the weapon draws energy from the sun. Things like that, you have to think about these things. It makes it more interesting. And when you design this and you tell the client that this is what's happening, their mind is just blown, right? So it's, it's very important to think about all these things. I know it's hard, especially if you are just trying to get the character to look cool. I think that should be your main objective, but it's also important to keep in the back of your mind um, character design that tells a story very important and um, it just makes it that much more special so from this point on I will go into um, what am I doing have I designed yeah I've designed I'm pretty much at 80% of the design right now of the character from this point on we want to actually just finish it off so it's just cleaning it up and I used to use Photoshop to do inking, but not anymore because Clip Studio has this pen called the G Pen that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, it completely changed the way my work looks, and I use that exclusively. It's phenomenal, and it's so fast. Um, it's not laggy like a lot of Photoshop brushes. It's, um, it's beautiful. And so yeah, I'll just finish it up. I'll color it next. I have a bunch of color presets that I've already predetermined. 
I'll do the graphic design behind the character in Illustrator, usually. But I think for the uh, digital art fair stuff, I did the graphic design in After Effects itself. That's the program I use to animate. So I'll take the characters and I'll animate it in just very basic, like um, just very basic animation. The the detail comes in the animation of the, the graphic design bits, like the font and stuff like that. that. That's the detail part, but the actual characters themselves, it's essentially moving JPEGs. But um, yeah, I'll animate it, I'll render it out, and then I'll send it out. And that's, uh, that's what we did for the, uh, digital, the, the digital art fair stuff. And I think they look pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with them, and they're selling pretty well, uh, some of them, I think. So, very excited about that. But anyway, yeah, this is just a quick video just to describe um, how I come up with characters and the process and my thoughts behind them. Um, but yeah, uh, I can go on and on, talk about it, but it would just take me forever and I'm getting hungry I gotta go eat something but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, a follow would be even better um, and I'll see you guys next time cool bye